Energy saving initiatives are popping up everywhere, including right here in the Low Country. Here to share more on how MUSC is going green, let's welcome Christine von Kolnitz, Sustainability and Energy Manager at MUSC. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. You know, I know in my own home, I'm using greener things such as light bulbs, which you're going to talk about in just a minute. I've visited buildings in other cities that have just completely gone green from windows to rooftop gardens. Mm -hmm. MUSC is taking the lead in many ways in this space. Can you tell us a bit more about the current project that's Yeah, right yeah, now? absolutely. The Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital that has only been open for a few years um, is a lead silver building and that's leadership in energy and environmental design. So we did a lot of projects in that building that made it more green, including a green roof, including very energy efficient windows. Yeah, yeah. and would you say that this is showing an impact already on the energy that you are saving, on the money that's being spent on keeping the lights on? Yes, yes, we've reduced our energy tremendously over the years and we are saving money, even you know, even as rates go up, Right. we're saving money. So now, you've, the current project that you've got going on, this is sort of changing what's already existing on the MUSC campuses, so tell us how that's working. Right, right, so we've got a um, energy performance contract going on, we've got a team of engineers and um, con con construction crews working on this project. They've changed every light bulb in the whole complex downtown. And um, they've changed them from fluorescent to LED, and that saves a tremendous amount of energy. And projects like that can pay themselves back in two to three years. And then they, those projects, we bundle that with other projects for HVAC and chillers and um, even water projects. So um, all these projects together for, um, are the performance contract. Yeah. We get a loan and we pay off the loan with the savings and energy from that loan. And the last performance contract we did, we paid off sooner than we thought we I would. I can only imagine how much energy a hospital uses on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Can you at all <laughs> paint a picture for us as to what that looks like? Well, this one project is gonna save $2.9 million a year. <sighs> wow, a yeah. year? A year. So that's basically $3 million a year. Yes. And this is what's spent simply on energy. It's every that's machine that's a portion that runs, of it. <laughs> a portion of it, right. just every machine that's running on every floor, every right. light, right. just everything that makes a hospital run. That's amazing. Right. And it, when you go into your doctor, you see the lights are on and they stay on in every room because they're, you know, 24 hours they have a day. people coming in and out constantly. So yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of energy. <laughs> it is. So so what kind of muscle does it take to sort of get this project off the ground? Because I have to imagine mm -hmm. there's a lot of planning in place. Right. It and takes you also have years. To know. It takes years, but yeah. you also have to know that what you're replacing, say, the fluorescent light bulbs with is going to work in the long term. Right, right. We definitely, uh, all of these projects that we're conducting have technically been done in other places like you saw in New York. So, um, you know, we, our engineers do things that are tried and true and yeah, yeah they yeah. know it's gonna save energy. Yeah, that's incredible. And I'm sure the doctors are grateful for it as well. And it sounds like it's pretty minimally invasive too as right. far as changing a light bulb that doesn't really They do have to problem. work around what's going on in the hospital. You know, it's a challenge. Sure. But the nurses and the doctors have been working with them and, and everybody is, is a team. And we've got actually teams of um, construction workers that are actually competing to yeah. who, see who can get good healthy competition <laughs> for hurt anybody. So, yes. so where does this project now go? What's the next phase? So um, well, we're almost done. So right now they're working on some chiller projects and, and that should finish it up. We've got a little bit more lighting in um, the art hospital, Ashley uh -huh. River Tower. And uh, you know, then we'll start paying back the loan and getting the savings. Yeah. All right, and MUSC is leading the charge here in South Carolina yes. as far as that goes. So that's <laughs> wonderful to hear. I want to thank you so much, Christine, for joining us. This is really interesting. We're back after this.